Plus, I find this so fascinating. The 1970s had a massive oil crisis. Oil prices, and therefore petrol and diesel prices too, basically quadrupled in the US, thanks to a restriction from oil supplying countries, which, while definitely a problem for car manufacturers, also created a massive opportunity, because people suddenly wanted to buy more fuel-efficient cars. So while Mercedes already did a lot of work with the Ponton back in the day to cut back some of the weight and streamline the thing, with the 1979 S-Class, these efficiency improvements were like the entire game. So the materials are quite a lot lighter. Like even the bumpers here are now made of plastic instead of the chrome they were before, which also means they can absorb the impact from a parking bump with no damage at all, which I will not be testing. Plus, I find this so fascinating. This is the first time that Mercedes also started using CAD, or computer-aided design, while planning out the shape of their cars. See, the tradition was you make a massive clay model, you take that model to a tunnel, and you see how smoke passes around that clay model to determine how aerodynamic it is by eye. So obviously, that was a very slow, imprecise process. So finally being able to visualize and fine tune simulations thousands of times on a computer meant that you could make a lot more micro refinements before the car went into production.